Hey everybody, Jeff Zaylor, Zaylor Properties, wanted to bring you a quick market update for the month of September. We're obviously in October, but these stats are the stats that we have through the month of September. And these stats are all for single family residences only here in the Las Vegas area. Our median sales price, great number, finally hit 300,000 again for the first time since 2007. Believe it or not, we've, we've obviously been slow to recover, but the last few years have actually pushed us to finally where we were before the crisis in 2007, 2008. So that's interesting. Again, median sales price for single family homes, now $300,000. What we're seeing and what we have seen is a lot of our price increases have really been because of just a low supply and a high demand. We're having more people move into the valley than out. So what we've seen is just not a lot of homes for, for sale. Uh, I actually have a chart here. This is a three-year chart. And what this chart shows is the number of homes available for sale uh, every month since 2015. You'll see we're still overall a lot lower than we were the year before and the year before that. But something to note is if you take a look at January compared to where we are now, we're starting to see an increase of supply, which has helped soften a little bit the market. There is a strong demand still, but we're not seeing as strong of a demand as we had been in the, in the months past. On top of that, what we always talk about here at Zaylor Properties is our, our level of inventory, or our months of inventory. What that really very, very simply means, if we stop putting homes on the market today, how long would it take to sell all the homes that we currently have available? That number has actually dipped be below two months uh, when the market was really hot at the beginning of the year and into the spring, but we're actually now leveling off around two and a half months of inventory. What that means is, on the calendar-wise, it's right around mid-October, by the end of this year, almost every single house on the market would have been sold, and that would that's how long it would take to sell the houses. A normalized market, for those of you that are curious, is about five to six months. Anything lower than that is still considered a seller's market. Anything higher than that is kind of considered a buyer's market. So at two and a half months, we are still in a seller's market, but things are starting to shift a little bit more towards neutral. The last piece of information for, uh, for September stats that I want to talk about is just the number of closed sales. So we're seeing, we're actually seeing a, a, an actual big drop off. So the chart I have shows on a month to month basis where we are. Uh, September 2018, the month we just finished, we only had 2,389 single family residences sold in the entire MLS system, which covers the entire valley. Uh, that's about 40%, believe it or not, uh, 20 to 30% lower than it had been in 2017, 2016, and 2015. You'll see right here, we kind of go up and down. We all know there's a little bit of seasonality, but here was August and we had a huge drop from August to September. And as you can see, the three um, circled areas are the, the prior Septembers. So again, we're down considerably over where we had been the last few Septembers. Why is that, you ask? Couple com a couple combinations. Number one, we're just seeing less, uh, you know, we're starting to see more homes out there to kind of create a less of a demand. Now there's still a strong demand, but some, you know, when we have 6,300 homes available and only 2,300 have been sold, that's starting to shift the market to more balanced, uh, you know, a more balanced market. The other thing we're seeing is obviously the rising interest rates have uh, allowed some buyers to kind of be priced out of where they wanted to buy. If they were able to afford a three hundred thousand dollar house when the market uh, when the rate was four percent, they may be only offer be able to afford a two hundred seventy five thousand dollar house now that the rates are a little bit closer to five percent. That's a big difference, and what we're seeing now is some of us uh, some of us as buyers are simply getting priced out of the market. So in closing, uh, we're still seeing a strong market. We are seeing a shift towards more of a neutral market, which is good for some of our buyers. However, we still need to pay attention to interest rates. It's a really big thing that's uh, really causing some buyers, again, to kind of double check or triple check their numbers to see if uh, getting into the home buying situation is what they want to do. If you have any questions about any of these stats or anything, please give us a call, 702-758-4699. You can also email us at info at zaylorproperties.com, or you can always check our website, www.zaylorproperties.com, to either search the MLS or get a home valuation of your current home. Until next month, Jeff Zaylor, Zaylor Properties. Thanks for watching. Take care.